Sterling Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be reviewing the sleeping pad that I got sent to me. And if you're interested in one, I'll tell you at the end of this video how you can get one too. So stick around, let's check this out. Okay guys, so this sleeping bag here, or not a sleeping bag, it's a sleeping pad. It's small, it's about, I don't know, maybe eight inches long. Uh, I didn't bring a ruler out, but what I did was I brought my scale out and I'll tell you exactly how much it weighs here. All right, because I know like a lot of backpackers, that's, that's important to them because you know, Let's let's go with pounds here first, okay? One point one eight pounds. Now let's go with um, it's eighteen point nine ounces, so sixteen ounces in a pound. So uh, eighteen point nine ounces. I'm not sure what what measurement that is. I think it's Chinese or something, but that's what it weighs for that. And um, 0 0.535 kilograms. So, all right. Now, okay, like I said, I didn't bring out a, I mean, you know, here's my foot, I guess. So, so it's probably about eight inches, I'm guessing. There's, you know, my face. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, what they did was they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review. And I said, yeah. And they sent me a link to their, uh, to their store. It's Amazon and um, reasonable pricing. But uh, I will give you a link to their store and to this particular product down below in the comment section. Um, and ask if I wanted to they would send me some stuff if I wanted to uh, if I wanted to, to do a video and that's all I had to do was do a video and I'm like yeah uh, sure and they're like well look through our stuff they got like um, the headbands the headband lights and um, chairs little tables camping stuff you know so this is a patch because this is a uh, little tiny air mattress thing Okay, so this thing just comes off like that. Okay, I'm gonna roll this out. I'll set you up here. We're in the tent. I'm in the tent because we're gonna sleep out here in the tent tonight. I know it's just in the backyard, but that's okay. All right. So we're gonna roll this out. So it is very light. Great for backpackers. I usually sleep. We usually sleep this way. Might be a game changer tonight. I'm not sure, but we'll. We'll see. I think Monkey's going to try hers out. And what I'm going to do, I'm not just going to blow this up, lay on it for a minute, and tell you whether I like it or not. I'm actually going to sleep on this tonight. And, uh, let you know how well it is in the morning, if it loses air or anything like that. I see some strings here. I don't like that. I think it's called Edui. Anyway, link will be in the description. But I don't like the way that's cut like that. See that? That should not be like that. So I don't like that. Now I told them I will give them, I will give an honest, you know, I will make an honest video, an honest review. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, so this thing, I'm not sure how I'm going to blow this up but it's supposed to blow up pretty easy now you can get those little bags that you just put a puff of air in and blow these things up but uh so let me see if I can okay so I'm going to blow this up I'm not going to use my air compressor um, I do have an air pump in there that's made for air mattresses but I want to see how much how long it's going to take me to blow this up so I'll be right back with you as soon as I get it blowed up 
so stick around and let's see what it looks like okay guys so there it is it took less than five minutes to blow up with my mouth and i'm not that healthy with copd there's not a pillow on it now i've seen a guy reviewing one of these that did have a pillow on it so i'm kind of uh that's kind of i don't know disappointing i guess you could say because you know a lot of people don't like to carry pillows with them when they're hiking so i'm gonna lay down here on this and let you know how it feels right now it's hot in this tent i don't have the rain fly on so all right well first impressions it's comfortable i'm not touching the ground i'm just interested you know all night if it's going to leak any air or not i wish it had a pillow but i've seen a guy review one of these his was blue it had a pillow this one does not now let's see on my side i'm a side sleeper i cannot feel the bottom of the tent so at a little over a pound i mean for backpacking so far this would be a thumbs up if it had a pillow um so yeah i'd like to do more reviews of their stuff so hopefully i can you know i'll get them to send me some more stuff but um like i said <coughs> i'm not going to stop here i am going to sleep on this tonight and let you know in the morning how good it does because i'm going to be i'm going to be laying on this all night long uh I'll probably bring my pc out since we're in the backyard and watch some youtube videos because i like to support you guys as well and uh but and then i'll sleep on it tonight and see how it feels but right now it feels pretty good if it had a pillow yeah all right guys so there you go i'll be back with you when i'm getting ready to conk out for the night i'll let you know how it's doing it's uh, about 6 30 7 o'clock right now so yeah i'll uh and I'll let you know if I had to put any air in it through the through the night and whatnot. So stick around, guys. More to come on this mat. Okay, guys. So we're in the tent. Bruno's over there. He's got a blankie. Monkey's got her pad. Hers has got a pillow. Um, but my pad. I've been in the house for a couple hours. I came out. There's my pad. Uh, I got my sleeping bag on top of it. For a little extra um because i always have my sleeping bag sleeping bag so um but i just tried to put blow more air into it and uh it wouldn't take any more so it hasn't lost any over a couple hours also when it's all packed up it's 10 inches long four inches in diameter so that's pretty small um it is 78 inches long when it's rolled out and blown up and 24 inches wide so that's pretty good so there's a couple specs for you there um you can get it in gray blue and green i got the green one like i said i wish it had a pillow but monkey laid on it too she was kind of impressed with it so right now i'm going to do another review of this light that was sent to us a while back and we we haven't uh, i'll get into that on that video but so anyway guys so there's that and i'll let you know in the morning what's going on so see you then okay good morning everybody so what i want to do is it's about 9 20 uh, i'm going to uh we'll go ahead and get dressed and uh we're gonna roll this thing up and see how easy it deflates and how easy it is to get back into the bag. And I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay guys, I'm back. Went in the house and spent a little time with Monkey. I'm back out. I wanted to show you this right here. This is the valve. You just open the top one and that's what you blow through right there. Put your lips around there and blow. <laughs> But uh, they say it takes 10 to 15 breaths to blow this up. And um, that's about right because that's about what it took me. And I've got COPD and I had this blown up probably in about that. 
Um, I know it wasn't 10, but I don't think it was more than 15, and it was blown up. And it lost no air. I cannot blow it. And the good thing about this, when you blow it up, it'll stop. If you can't overfill it or anything, it'll stop. So, um, but yeah, I just, uh, I blew it up last night, no problem. Like I said, I got COPD, so a hiker or backpacker would not have an issue with this. You can get those portable pumps, or you can get those little bags I was talking about that you put a puff of air in, roll it up, and blow it up with this, with one of those. But um, I really don't. I mean, I'll, I I probably won't won't use one. Now this, you you pull that out and you blow it up. Now when you put this back in, you pull the other one out right there see so there's two you put this in to blow it up like that and you cover it up and then you take that out to deflate it and it's deflated already so what we're going to do is we're going to roll this up and I always roll remember always roll See how did they have it? Always roll to the uh, to the valve so you can get all your air out. Okay, so now I cannot remember. Let me scoot you back here a little bit. Exactly how this was folded. like this now I'm going to just uh, I'm just going to roll it up to the end back there with the valve and then we're going to see how well it fits back in the bag this is two inches thick once it's blown up. Nothing to it. That last little bit of air you'll hear come out. Now, let me see, where's my bag? Uh, okay, let me grab my bag. Okay, now we've got it rolled up. I'm just going to stick it in the bag. And of course, <laughs> anytime you roll something up, it ain't like it is when, it, when you get it new. But then here's my little patches. Oh, I forgot. I could spend a little more time rolling that up better but that's what that's one thing I don't like is them fuzzies because that to me that doesn't show quality or craftsmanship okay so there I do like this idea all right now let's put it back in the bag oops put my patches in just in case okay yeah that's fine and you got your little tie thing there yeah nothing to it yeah pretty cool so, my final thoughts on this thing. Alright, this, uh, what is it? Edoe, I think is how it's pronounced. Edoe, Edoe. Alright. My dislikes. 
these things. I don't like that. On a tent, sleeping bag or anything, I don't like that. It has nothing to do with the way it performs. It just, you know, you can trim that off and make it look a little better. Um, to me, that's poor craftsmanship. Uh, like I said, it did not hinder the performance of the pad. Um, also, I wish it did have a pillow. Um, I went I went to their store and I'm not seeing one with a pillow. Uh, I can see maybe they did it for, you know, hammock campers or even weight maybe. Um, but I don't think that pillow would add that much weight to worry about it. So I wish it had a pillow. Now the pros, it lost no air. Um, it's about noon right now and um, it lost no air all night and I was on it all night. It lost absolutely no air. Comfort, absolutely, it is comfortable. Um, is it like sleeping on an air mattress? No, it's not an air mattress. It's an air pad, you know. Um, it's a big difference. I did not feel the bottom of the tent once. Um, no matter how I laid, I laid on my stomach, my sides mostly because I am a side sleeper. Um, I laid on my back. This thing is comfortable, guys. A lot better than sleeping on this hard ground. Now, I've had some sleeping pads, um, some pretty good ones in the past, and, and this, this performed every bit as well as the higher end ones I've owned. I'm not going to mention any names, but you, you gear, you, you know, uh, camping gear guys will know probably which ones I'm talking about that did well. This did perform just as good as they did. This is, it's affordable, and uh, do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. It does get a two thumbs up. Other than those two little nitpicking things, I do recommend this. How do you get one of these? I will have a link in the description box um, with their store so you can check out the other items they have they have some pretty cool stuff and I will put a link for just this item if you're interested in it you can get it in blue gray or green um, monkeys is blue I chose green camping thing you know peace of mind right <laughs> but uh um, so yeah I mean I am very happy with it out of five out of five stars I would probably give this uh, 3.7 if it had a pillow it'd be four and a half it's hard to get a five star for me because nothing's perfect and people need to understand that now as far as the company the uh, the the conversations with them and, and um, uh, I give I give them a five for you, you know contact and and you know getting hold of me or me getting a hold of them. Uh, I didn't have to deal with uh, I didn't have to deal with you know returning or anything like that. So I haven't you know had to use them guys. But as far as the company, when they got a hold of me from then on, email after email. If I send an email. I get an email back within 24 hours um, so yeah communication is awesome with the guys um, I would like to try more of their products so hopefully they'll send me more because so far I am I am very satisfied with this um, if it wasn't for the little stringy stuff I'd probably give it a four star um, I think that needs to be kept in mind you know, um, you know, my trade is, is a mechanic, fabricator, welder, fabricator. Um, you know, I wouldn't send something I welded with a stick welder out without grinding it. Um, you know, it has nothing to do with the performance. It just looks good and it, it shows you take your time. So keep that in mind if you're watching this, guys. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, it would have gotten a four-star probably would have got a four and a half star if it had a pillow but that's not a dear deal breaker for me um, you know backpackers you know uh, it's it's not really a big deal I understand maybe the pillow because they are a little bulkier um, you know for this will be perfect I have you know this is the first time I've used it so I 
I can't wait to get it in my in my hammock tent and see how it performs there. I thought it would slide a lot on this on the floor of these this tent. You know how they are; they're real slippery anyway. Your sleeping bags slide. This pretty much stayed where I put it. Uh, Monkeys did too, but she's got a different brand. But this stayed wherever I put it. It stayed there, and I moved it a couple times to see if it would slide a lot. And I purposely chose a uh, part of the backyard that's not real level to see how it would perform in that air in that area of the you know of the test and it performed fine so I am going to give it uh, uh, two thumbs up I will recommend it and um, like I said I'll, I'll give it 3.7 star 3.75 stars um, I'd like to go four, but you know when you get you know like that you know I don't like that that just uh, to me that doesn't shout you know we're proud of our work and you know I told him I'm, I'm gonna give a, a, an honest review and, and that's what I'm doing so uh, you know do away with that at least and and I, I would up the stars but um right now I'm gonna stick to 3.75 stars so anyway guys uh, like I said links in the description go go check out their their um, their store on Amazon and the link for just this particular one um, this particular item like I said you can get blue and gray as well uh, there'll be a link in there too if, you, if you're not interested in anything else out anything else that they have but you want to try this out just click on that link and it'll take you right to this okay so anyway guys I appreciate it plus it'll help me out a little <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching guys and thanks for Edoui hopefully I'm saying that right uh, for sending this to me this will be used I will use it um, I don't have a sleeping pad but now I do um, because we've been you know since we've been camping together we've just been sleeping right on the floor of the tent and this really helps out a lot so thanks and thank you guys for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now guys and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care